What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, we started working with getting into the Soul Shards, the Old Ways mod. So, yeah, we made a Vile Sword, we made a Unbound Soul Shard, and we made a Soul Cage. I wanted to look at getting some enchantments on the Vile Sword. And in order to do the enchantment that I want, it looks like we're either going to have to enchant books or other swords. Anyway... Uh, I figured it would probably be a good idea to look at getting ourselves a good supply of paper. So I was kind of looking on how to get paper. Obviously, the vanilla way is to get sugar cane. We do have a mod in here uh, that allows us, uh, it's actually additions, to make rice into paper. But we'd have to grow that and we still have to wait on it, right? I think this is probably better than the sugar cane. Sugar cane just takes a long time. Uh, but what I was looking at is that we have sawdust for mechanism here. We'll make six paper out of three. And you get a sawdust by using a precision sawmill on a log, right? You get six planks back and a sawdust. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, you can also take the planks, I do believe, and put those back through and get more sawdust. But yeah, you can get two sawdust per log, but we need this machine, the precision sawmill. So let's take a look at that. So a precision sawmill is made with some basic control circuits, enriched alloys, iron ingots, all that's pretty easy. And then the steel casing, which is a little bit more involved, but it's not, uh, it's not impossible for us to do. In fact, we have pretty much everything, I think, ready to go for most of this. I don't believe we have any of those void crystals. Let's take a look. Void, no. So we need coal. Uh, four pieces of coal look like. Um, do we have any regular coal? Oh, boy. We have charcoal, we have coal dust. Oh no, we don't have any coal at all. I wish we could take coal pellets and combine them. Oh, you can do that. Oh, I didn't know that you could do this. Okay. <laughs> well, that makes things simple. I was going to say, I wish you could combine the coal pellets back into regular coal, but yes, it turns out you absolutely can. Trying things for the win. All right, there we go. There is our void crystals. Perfect. All right, so now we just need to do the rest of these things. I don't know if we have all the parts available in the system to do this or not. Let's try it. Looks like we have enough for the steel casing. That's nice. And this, oh my goodness, we had everything. It's amazing. All right, so we're going to come over here back to where we placed all these other machines before. We don't have a power cord to hook these up. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. I guess I'll stick it down here for now just so we can kind of get things rolling here. So that gave us the 20 kilojoules or the uh 8000 rf cool all right so now we can put logs in here and start getting ourselves some sawdust we have plenty of logs and trees are super easy to grow i'm curious though if this thing is going to be slow or if it's going to be fast i'm feeling like it's going to be kind of slow and we're going to need the speed upgrades but let's check it out yeah yeah that's slow <laughs> that's really slow oh my goodness I don't think I've ever used this machine before. All right, so we get six planks and then the sawdust. So let's take that back out. So if we put that in there, that should turn into more sawdust and then some sticks, right? So I think that's a pretty good use for this. Uh, so we should look at getting some of these upgrades in here. A muffling upgrade, maybe? <laughs> yeah, speed upgrade and the energy upgrade. Let's take a look at those. Speed upgrade, energy upgrade. Oh, uh, where are they? So here's a speed upgrade. So that requires the enriched alloy. So that's iron and redstone. That's pretty easy to do. And then osmium dust. I think we can get that pretty easily through some means here. Okay, I, I got to back away from... Whoop. Yeah, I had to back away from that machine. I think I hit the Windows button. Anyway, the uh, the game went away and stopped the recording for a second. Uh, So yeah, the uh, speed upgrades are things that we can do. That's pretty easy. We can have... The osmium ground into dust. We can make the rich alloys in the the glass is really simple. Now, if we speed it up, we're definitely gonna want to put in the energy upgrades because that makes the speed upgrades make it use a lot more power. So we need to counteract that with the energy. And again, this is pretty easy. Just some crushed gold glass and enriched alloys. So I think I'm gonna take some time here. I'm gonna make eight of each of those, put it into that sawmill, and see if we can get something good happening here. Give me a moment and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so as it turns out, I, I misread this before. The sawdust that you get from the planks is a 25% chance. So we're going to end up with a lot of sticks and not a lot of sawdust after we convert the uh, logs into planks. And then we're going to turn the planks back into sticks. 
But yeah, every time we do a log, though, we do get one sawdust. That's guaranteed 100%. But yeah, the other way, <laughs> we're going to have a lot of sticks. So I was just thinking, we were talking about this a long time ago. The uh, Super Stick mod is in this uh, mod pack. Super Stick Sword mod, I guess. Um, yeah, that does require the octuple compressed stick, which is a lot. Just think of it like the cobblestone, right? So nine of each. So I'm thinking we could probably set up compacting drawer for the sticks and then, yeah, automatically put them down to the triple and then do another one and so on and so forth. If we wanted to go down this path, definitely a way that we would be able to do it by getting the sawdust. But then again, I don't really know how much of this stuff we honestly need. Um, <laughs> but yeah, kind of interesting anyway to think about. So yeah, we'll be able to get plenty of paper this way and we should be able to start enchanting some of our books and trying to get some of our uh, better enchantments going on here. So yeah, I do have in all eight energy and all eight speed upgrades in this machine. It does require 200 RF per tick to go, and it holds 221 million RF apparently, which is a heck of a lot of RF to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing like too terribly much more of this stuff. I think we should be able to call that good right there to be honest. Uh, so yeah, three of those turns into six pieces of paper. So yeah, we'll definitely have plenty of paper now. So let's go ahead and convert that. Yeah, so that is almost two stacks of paper. That's pretty good for a little bit of time there. Uh, a little bit of effort for the machine. I think that's going to work out just fine. And getting more paper in the future now is going to be really, really easy. I like it. So now we need to turn that into books and start doing a little enchanting. All right, guys, so since we're going to be doing a little enchanting, we need bookshelves and we need an enchantment table. So I made both of those, but then I saw that there is the magical wood, which says that it will boost the max level of enchanting tables by 2.5 levels. Is that more than a bookshelf? I honestly don't know. I would have imagined that it would be more. So let's go ahead and dump all of our XP into this and we'll take out four levels. All right, we'll make ourselves some magical wood. I'm kind of curious to see what that does to the enchantment table. So we put that here. We right click on it. I guess we need to put something in there to see. So it says one, two, three, two, five, five. Okay. Oops. Give me that magical wood back. So if we put that here, we put the book in there. Okay. So it looks like, yeah, that does bring it up two levels. So we're probably going to need, well, geez, I don't know how, how many of these are we going to need in order to get to where we need to be. I guess I'll just end up making all six of those and see where we're at on the levels here. All right, well, this is kind of interesting. I ended up making all six of those, like I said I was going to, and I put a book in here, and it's like seven, nine, 30, what? <laughs> so yeah, it looks like six of those will get us a level 30 enchantment. If I remove this, it shows the top level, I think was 24. Yeah, so, hmm, not really, really sure <laughs> what that all, is all about, but, I mean, it looks like six of those is going to be right where we needed it to be as long as we can get that level 30 every time. I don't know. It seems kind of weird. That's level 7, 9, and then 30. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I need to go get some things to start enchanting here. We should probably look at throwing the sword in there, first of all, see what it says that the possible light pierce four. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, anyway, we're going to have to do the old vanilla enchanting thing here, see if we can get ourselves... I think it's called Soul Stealer. I'm not exactly sure what the enchantment is called. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to continue doing this for a little while, see if I can uh, get some enchantments going on, and then we'll be back. All right, guys, so I decided to make some of these Redstonia Crystal Swords, since these are relatively inexpensive. It's just a piece of redstone thrown in front of the laser, right? So two pieces of Redstonia plus a stick, and we have a sword. We can't do simple things like making a wooden sword because that requires a knife handle, which is a stick plus leather. I mean, we could do that, but yeah, it's a little bit more expensive than I want to mess around with. Stone swords have been disabled. We can make iron swords, but that's a little expensive. And I think pretty much everything else is just the same. So I made a few enchantments here. We have sharpness four in this one, fire aspect. And then we got soul stealer three and light pierce four on this particular sword. I still don't know what that light pierce is. I expect that some kind of a, light damage anyway and then we also got light pierce four on an enchanted book so i was just about to enchant another sword here to try and burn enchantments and i saw here on the level 19 we get soul stealer three i was like oh that's pretty cool um and then i put a book in here to see what else we could get mm -hmm. 
Anyway, so if we put that in here, we can get the Soul Stealer 3. We just need 19 levels and then 2 Lapis, it looks like. Right? Um, so I was thinking before I did this, do I want to put this on the Vile Sword or is there a way to disenchant, right? So disenchant, I was like, okay, disenchanter from Draconic Evolution. It's going to require these things. Uh, we don't really have another star. <laughs> we probably could work at getting one, but yeah. I also saw there was a lens of disenchanting here from actually additions. I don't believe I've ever used this before. So I was reading in the manual here, and it says the lens of disenchanting can be used to transfer a single enchantment from an enchanted item to either a book or an already enchanted book. This can be achieved by throwing the two items in front of the laser, but they have to be together in one block space. When they are hit by the laser, the topmost enchantment from the non-book item is removed and added to the book. This costs half a million RF. Or I'm sorry, a quarter of a million RF. Um, so that sounds like something we can do, provided we can get all of these things. I don't how do you even get these lens? Oh, we can get that through the thermionic fabricator. So we need glowing glass, which is easy. And then we need a mana lens influence. Ooh. Mana lens. Uh can we make mana steel? Iron in the thing. Yeah, you know what? I think we can do that. We need Prismarine and then we need Rune of Air. Yeah, okay. So this is where it's going to get a little bit more tricky because we haven't set up any of the Runic Altar stuff. Doesn't mean we can't do it. We just haven't done it yet. Uh, so it's almost making the Disenchanter look a little bit more favorable. So in order to do that, we need Draconium Ingots. And I can't remember. Uh, Blaze Quartz, Nice Slime, Corrupted Essence. Okay, Side Gem. How do you get a side gem? Oh man, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure which one's going to be the hardest method of doing this. I kind of want to do the lens of disenchanting specifically because I've never made one of those before. All right, so it looks like we are going to need a lens and then the lens can go into this. So in order to make that the glowing glass, clear glass, then we have to do the influence. So we need the rune of air, which means we have to make a runic altar. All right. So the runic altar from Batania looks like we need runestone slab, other world leaf from roots. Uh oh, these are things I don't know anything about. Did we make runestone before? I feel like we might have made these before. Uh, but this other world leaf, I have no idea how to make that. Feels like did I drop something on the ground here. Feels like we're going to have to go into the roots manual and take a look at it. If it's something that's really, really complicated, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that or not. Uh, I know we have a roots book around here unless it's in my pouch. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to find that and go through that real quick. All right, guys. So I was doing some research on how to do what we need to do to get those other worldly leaves or whatever they're called. Uh, we're going to have to set up a new ritual here. So yeah, I was looking from another world. It's talking about all the things that we need to do. Uh, lesser sprites. These are a ritual that we're going to have to perform here. We're going to call a sprite into our world. It can drop those leaves or we can kill it and get a decent amount of the leaves from doing that. So the ritual to call this thing is similar to the one we've done previously when we turned our wood into... I can't even remember what kind of wood it was. We had to use this ritual thing before to do it. Anyway, we have to add in these additional runes. Now, I do believe those are going to be the attuned standing stones. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, so we need rune stones from roots. <laughs> yeah, so that's the ashen stone. We ended up making that a while ago. Ash pile chiseled stone, right? Or I guess just stone and then growth powder. We've done this before. Uh, so we had everything in the system in order for me to make a few more crafts of that stuff. So, uh, rune stone, if I put my mouse over here so it doesn't go away when I type the R. Yeah, so we have 16 of those. So we should be pretty much good to go. So we also need mana powder and mana steel in order to proceed though. So the mana powder is got from putting ash in the mana pool, not glowstone, gunpowder, or redstone. It is ash. So how are we doing on ash? We have 62. Okay, so we need a total of 16 of those, and then we need, I think, four mana steel. So we need four iron to be put in there as well. All right, so I'm not, whoop, I'm not 100% sure, but I think we should have enough mana from when we made mana previously in order to get this done. 
I guess we'll find out here very, very shortly if we do. Otherwise, we'll have to generate some. Shouldn't be that big of a deal if we have to, though. Uh, so, iron ingots. There we go. Mana steel ingots and then the ash. And there's 16 of that. Very, very easy. It looks like they used exactly all the mana that we had. How nice. <laughs> all right. Glad we didn't have to make any. But, yeah, we will have to make some the next time we want to use that thing. All right, so let's go back down here real quick. I guess we could have done the terminal upstairs, but it's fine. So we'll do this, and I'll put the extras in there, and we need to make four of these. Okay, so back to the, the book here. Let's take a look at the ritual. That would be this one. So we need to put these two blocks away from the cardinal directions that we already have. All right, so let's get up here and do that. So yeah, we messed around with this a while ago. Oh, I'm going to have to... Add some more land around here in order to do this, it looks like. But let's get going anyway. So place that there. This one here. I'm going to take two dirt blocks so we can do what we need to do. Kind of a cheesy way of doing it, but let's just get it done. So there's that one plus this guy. And one more piece of dirt over here. Like so. Awesome. All right, so we have the... The standing stone set up, but we do need all the materials in order to get this going. So we need some kind of a flower. Uh, it says it had to be four different types of flowers. So we really don't have that many different types of flowers here, do we? Uh, do we have any dandelions? We have six of those. All right. I guess we'll do like three. Uh, poppy, we have one. Wow. Okay, let me grab some bone meal. I'm going to go bone meal the grass. See if we can get some more flowers going over here. I thought we had more of these things around, but I guess not. All right. I guess I could also turn on my magnet at this point, but let's just go ahead and just continue bone mealing and breaking these things down. I'll go ahead and get these flowers going, and then we will move on. All right, guys. So I bone mealed the grass for a little while, and I was able to collect some flowers, and we got enough for three of four different types. Yeah, unfortunately, I still didn't get enough flowers for all that I wanted to do, but this should work out pretty good. So we have to put uh, one of each different flower into the things that make the incense, the incense brazier, these things. So we'll go ahead and place one in each of these, like so. Uh, yeah, so that's good on those. Then we need to place one of an ender pearl. Oh, let me just double check. I think it's ender pearl, redstone, and glowstone. Let me double check and make sure we're doing this right. It is, yeah, Ender Pearl, Redstone, Glowstone. Okay, so we're all good here. Uh, so there's Ender Pearl, Redstone, Glowstone, right? So there's that. So now we need to take our Flint and Steel and then right-click on these things to light them. And I believe we do shift right-click. Right-click. Shift right-click. Okay, so it might be, maybe these braziers are too close. Uh Oh, <laughs> it might be that I placed this one in the completely wrong spot. <laughs> That's probably what it is. No valid ritual found. Uh, I didn't even notice that I did that before. Goodness. Derp a derp a derp. There we go. So let's try it again. No. So that's in line. That's in line. And that one's in line. Let's go back and take a look at this ritual. So the first ones. Yeah. So two blocks away. And then that. It could be that this torch is messing with it. Hmm. Glowstone. Redstone. Whoops, I, uh, right click, not shift or click. Oh, okay. Did I accidentally take a part of that off before? I'm not sure. Well, we got it working now. <laughs> That's the important part. So, hey. So, yeah, that should make like a sprite or something around here. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, we can watch it float around for a little bit or we can attack it. Okay, it makes like a little chime sound. Where'd it go? I hear it. There it is. So yeah, apparently it'll drop those leaves at random or we can kill it and get a few of them. I think we're just going to kill it. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Got it. All right. And that dropped four other world leaves. Okay. So while the braziers are still going, we should be able to get another one of these rituals set up here. Hopefully I can do it right this time. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and do this two more times. We'll get the other world leaves that we need, and then we'll be back, guys. 
Well, we ran out of living wood or uh, living rock, I guess. Uh, so I had to make some more here. So <laughs> yeah, it's not that big of a deal. We had plenty of the camouflage paneling in order to make the greenhouse brick. But yeah, we also need to get ourselves a new mana spreader. We have one that's taking the mana that is being made from these end of flames and putting it to the mana pool. But if we're going to put mana into a runic altar, yeah, we need to get another mana spreader to pull out of this thing. So Wildwood is the other thing that we made before on that ritual. I couldn't think of what it was. And I know we had to make it for a reason before. But yeah, this is what it is. We had to make the wild wood in order to turn that into living wood. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit changed in this mod pack. So yeah, we'll be able to get that. Then we can go ahead and start taking uh, mana from the pool and putting it into the runic altar. So the next thing we need to do is make some more... I guess mana. So let's grab some coal. It should be anything that's furnace burnable. Those plants over there should use. So I guess like eight of these, uh, these type of coal, the bitumus or however you pronounce it. I don't know. However you pronounce that these should work just fine. Let me go ahead and turn off the old magnet. All right. We'll place those right there and they should nom them. So all eight of these now have fuel and they are producing mana and that's going into the mana pool. And we'll use that for this ritual here in just a little bit. All right. So now that that's done, we can use our lumber axe. I do think. Yeah, that works just fine. Use our lumber axe to get these things chopped a little bit quicker. All right, cool. So yeah, we need to take that living wood and then make ourselves a mana spreader. So let's see if we can do that real quick. And that is yeah, full living wood and then wild wood bark symbol. Okay, what's a wildwood bark symbol? That is wildwood bark. So four of those logs plus a flint. Uh, did we make that wildwood bark? Oh, yeah, 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 we did. Okay, so we can just use one of these and then a flint. Of course, we don't have any flint over here. <laughs> All of the flint that we've been making is going into the sag mill, so it's just kind of like hanging out over here. I'll grab some so we have uh, a little bit available for the future. All right, so there's that and that wildwood bark symbol, and again, a mana spreader. Okay, so that's cool. Now, I don't believe we even have to make ourselves a wand or use the wand. We can just place it right like that. That should just grab mana out of the pool since the back of it is touching it, and it should shoot it over here when our runic altar requires it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is uh, make some more mana here. <laughs> Yeah, we can do that, and then we need to go, let's see, what we're we doing, disenchanter. We need to make this lens, and in order to do that, we need the mana lens influence, which requires a rune of air. Let's go ahead and search for that so it's easier in the future. So we need mana steel, mana powder, cobalt, string, feather, carpet. All of those things are pretty easy for us to get at this point, I do believe. We don't have any carpet, but we should have wool. We can do one of those string. Uh, we need cobalt. Looks like we don't have any cobalt ingots. I think we can just go ahead and melt that pretty easily over here in our smeltery. So that in there, that'll melt down. Make sure that's off and we need to get ourselves our ingot cast. Now, there's probably a way I could have macerated that or whatever and gotten two, or maybe we will get two out of this. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue on here. So we needed a feather and then, then the mana steel and mana powder. All right, so iron, a feather, we need ash. Yep, so there's all the different components. And then whenever that cobalt's done, we can get ourselves a cobalt nugget. Go ahead and toss that in there and that in there. All right, guys. Well, we made it this far without making a wand, but I'm going to go ahead and make a wand now because I do believe we need one of these in order to click the altar to finish the recipe once it's done, right? Pretty sure we do. Anyway, we have everything ready to go now, so we'll put string, feather, cobalt nugget, mana powder, mana steel, and a carpet. And then we need one living rock on there to complete the recipe after all the mana gets transferred over. So yeah, this mana spreader is shooting the mana over here. You can see the little progress meter filling up. And then once that's done with the shift right click, I think, is it right click or shift right click or is it just right click? This in order to complete the recipe. Yeah, you can see right there, it says plus the living rock and the wand. 
once that's completed. There we go. Shift right click seems to have done it. All right, so there is our rune of air. Nice. All right, so there is another thing done. All right, first of our Batania runes that we've made. All right, so what else do we need here? So now we need a mana lens. So that's four mana steel and a glass pane. Easy. And then the prismarine shard. That is the part that might not be so easy. I don't remember if we collected extra. No, we only have one. All right, that's a problem. So I'll go ahead and make the mana steel that we need in order to make the mana lens. I think is what it is. Uh, we're going to have to go hunt down some more <laughs> guardians. That's not that big of a deal, but it is a thing that we're going to have to do. There is no way for us to duplicate those shards at this point in time. Uh, this, the, nope, wrong one. This one. There we go. Mana lens. All right. So yeah, we need to get ourselves some prismarine and then we can continue on. All right, guys, so after just a little bit of time, I was able to collect some Prismarine Shards from killing some of those Guardians. Yeah, not too big of a deal. So we got those done. There is our Mana Lens Influence. Now, to continue on with this, we need uh, Clear Glass from Tinkers, and it looks like the only way to get that is by smelting out liquid glass and then casting it, right? So I just put in some Vanilla Glass, eight blocks. You get one Clear Glass per regular glass, so... I have four extra being casted out right now. So that's pretty cool. All right. So moving on from that, we need the glowing glass. Now to get that, we need glowstone around thickened glass and that is sandy glass. Uh, do we have any sandy glass? No. So we need to take regular glass once again. Yep. And we need to smack that with the hammer to get the glass shards. And we wrap that around was a piece of sand. I think really not sure how many of these we need. I'll just go ahead and do two layers. Like so. Perfect. All right. So now we got our glass shards. Back into all of this. Not this one. This one. There. This. That. Okay, cool. All right. So we want one, two, three, four. All right. So now we need to take that over to our atomic reconstructor laser thingy. Make sure it magnets off. Put that there. Laser it. And there's that. Now we got to wrap that glass with the glowstone. And then... <laughs> we should be good to go here. Uh, so that is the thickened glass. Glowstone dust. All right, so we got all the parts ready to go. Now that has to be done a thermionic fabricator. Wait, does it say how much? Uh, it says a th one full thing. All right, let me grab some glass then. I had some on my hotbar, it looks like. Right, so we can put all this in our thermionic fabricator over here. We've only used this to make our electronic circuits, but yeah, we're making something different now. So we'll change the recipe out. Let's get that glass in there melting. And then this guy in the center. Where did I do that incorrectly? Nope, looks like that was the correct recipe. All right, so now we have a lens. <laughs> so now we need empowered diamond crystal. I don't think we have any of those. All right, so we got to do a little bit more stuff here. So that is two clay, clay block, and light blue. We have a light blue. We have two clay and one clay. We'll do a diamond block. That way we don't have to do this recipe many times. We'll just do it once, and we'll have a few extra diamond left over. Uh, so we need to go back over here. Great. All right. So here we go. There is this guy, those two, this one, and our diamond block has to be put through the laser first, I think. And there we go. All right. So that will go ahead and convert it. Let's wait for this to happen and we'll be back. All right, now that the empowering's done, we should be able to make this thing, Lens of Disenchanting. We do have to make ourselves another enchantment table, so we'll go and do that. Uh, we have the empowered and we have the lens, so we should be able to do this. Now, this thing, I'm not sure how that works. Do you just stick it in front of the laser? I don't know. So let's take, uh, we need some books, empty books, right? And then I want to try and get the soul stealer off this and onto the book. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, so lens. Oh yeah, that just goes right on there. Shift right click, takes it off, right click. All right, cool. So we do that. Uh, there's this, plus a book, and we laser it. And that uses 
uh, 250,000 RF. All right, so our enchanted book now has Soul Stealer on it. Awesome. So this is a way we're going to be able to get Soul Stealer off our enchanted items, and then we can combine the books together to get the highest version, and then we can apply that to our Vile Sword. Oh, my goodness, guys. <laughs> is it worth all of this? I don't know, but uh, it looks like this is the the best way to get these different things done here. All right, guys, so I just did a few more enchants here, and I was able to get Soul Stealer and another Redstone Crystal, so we can copy that off and put it onto a book, combine those, and get Soul Stealer 4. I was just about to ready to do another enchantment, right, on a book, and I was like, reading. Wait, reading? That's from Bibliocraft. We have Bibliocraft in here. Does that mean we have the printing press? It does. <laughs> All right, so we have a printing press, so we can use the printing press to copy enchantments and then combine them. That'll make things pretty easy, although I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this today or not. We might wait until the next time we need to get more of those going on. So it looks like we can make magical apples this way with magical wood with apples around it. That's kind of cool. I don't think I knew about that. Um, but yeah, it looks like printing press thing. We're also going to need a typesetting table. I think that is it. Just those two particular items. But yeah, it looks like we need a magical apple in order to make that. Some magical wood, redstone wire, coil. Oh, in order to get the aluminum wire, we have to set up this machine. Okay, so that might be something we look at next time. I don't know. But for right now, we have another soul stealer. So we can get soul stealer four. We could probably put on that vile sword. And then we could put mending on there and start getting some work done. I think that might be what we're going to end up doing here. But guys, we have run out of time for today. I had a lot of fun checking out all these different things. Yeah, the Roots mod is pretty in-depth. There's a lot of things about it that I don't know about. Uh, so checking out some of those different rituals and stuff, like those fairies or the sprites or whatever they are, that's really cool. I like that. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.